Hi there. I'm Carew, and this is Carew's Reviews. I'm Carew, and this is my review. As you can see, these are all my subwoofers. Uh, I've got the Acoustic Authority, the Edifier, my two Logitechs, Klipsch, and Altec Lansing. Uh, the one thing you'll notice right away is the Acoustic Authority has this weird um, convex dome on it, where all the other ones are concave, you'll see, and I don't know why that is, it's kind of an odd design. This one's also not shielded either, unlike all the others, and it has a little warning on the back, warning you that it's not shielded, so if you put it near a monitor or TV, it can screw up the uh, image. Um, it's kind of a weird thing too, I don't know why, but, because <clears throat> I mean, that's kind of standard for computer speakers to be shielded, so. Um... The, uh, in terms of sound quality, the Logitechs and the Clips are the best. You would think these two bigger subs would produce, but they don't. They don't sound as good. The, Logit they're the Edifier S730, which is the Edifier's top of the line, is really loud. It's 150 watts RMS. Just the sub's 150 watts RMS. So it can play really loud. Uh, the Logitechs are also loud. The Clips is loud. This one, the Acoustic Authority is a disappointment. I only spent 50 bucks on it, I bought it used, but it's not even worth that. Um, it doesn't play that loud. It's got a big bass part in the side, like most of them, but it doesn't play that loud. It only sounds like it goes down to about 60 hertz, I guess. And, um, and it's got a wimpy little amp, too. The funny thing about the Acoustic Authority is that how phony it is. It's got this thing on top, which looks like the uh, cooling fins on power amp, but it's just plastic and it comes off with two screws. So when I saw that, I thought, oh, it's got big, uh, big uh, cooling fins for the power amp, so it's got a decent power amp. And the specs, the specs I read said it was said it was powerful, but it's not because the specs I found out about it subsequently had it rated at like 38 watts or something, which puts it in about the same category as the Altec Lansing, and it sounds about the same too. It's about the same in volume and sound. Uh, this huge sub with that little tiny 4-inch sub, so I mean, it's it's bizarre, so, but, um, so yeah, I probably got, kind of got ripped off for the 50 bucks, but oh well. Um, I got a hell of a deal on the Z2300 launch deck. As I did the Logitech Z623, which I bought new, and the Clips Pro Media didn't cost me anything. So I just cashed in my air miles to get that. And the Altec Lansing also cost me nothing because it was a hand-me-down from an old friend of mine. Um, the Edifier was the only one that I, I bought for probably, well, at the time it was full price, I guess. I got it. I bought it online, it was $400, so with tax and everything and shipping, it was like 500 bucks, so. But I mean, I, that's by far, that's way more than all the others put together, but I really wanted it, so. I, uh, I splurged and got it when I had the money, so. Uh, in terms of looks, well, that's kind of a, a personal thing. Uh, I don't think they really look, any of them look particularly great or bad. Of course, the Logitech Z2300 here is different, and it has the gray, and the Acoustic Authority is sort of grayish silver, too. Or I should say the Logitech silver. The front silver, anyway. The back, back here is black, but all the other ones are black. They're, none of them are really exciting looking. They're just there to produce the thump and the bass and stuff. So um, They all have the Edifier and the Logitech. These two have big metal cooling fins in the back. The other ones don't. Like I said, the Acoustic Authority has a foamy plastic cooling fins that are just supposed to look like it, but it doesn't because it's got a wimpy little amp. And the Logitech Z623 also doesn't, which is weird too. And the Clips Pro Media doesn't have cooling fins for the amp either inside. <clears throat> but the difference between these two is that these are both Logitech's top of the line. The Logitech Z2300 is a little older. The Z623, you can still buy. It's available now, as is the Clips Pro Media. And the Edifier S730, these are all, this one, this one, this one, you can buy today. They're all, they're still for sale. Um, 
but the difference between the two Logitechs is that the this woofer's smaller, the cabinet's lighter, and it's got big cooling fins in the back. This one's smaller, uh, or sorry, this one's bigger, heavier, and it has cooling fins. This one's smaller, lighter, and it has no cooling fins, and yet they sound about the same, and they can produce about the same amount of bass. So I can't explain how Logitech did that. I'd love to know how their, their uh, engineers did that, because I find that amazing that they... Uh, a lot of people criticized the Z623 when it came out because they said, well, it's smaller and flimsier and cheaper and there's not the big fancy heavy cooling fins and it just, it's just cheaper and lousier. Yet if you listen to them, uh, the sound is, is comparable and the volume's comparable too, so I don't know how they did it, but somehow they did it. Um, in terms of age... I don't know how old the Acoustic Authority is. I don't even know their model number. I know the Alltech Lansing ACS-54 up there, the little 4-inch sub. Uh, that has a little 20-watt amp in it. And it's it's got to be about 15 years old now, I figure. It's, that was given to me years ago from an old friend of mine. And it was old when he gave it to me. So it might even be 20 years old now. The Eclipse Pro Media has been on sale, like I said, today you can buy it. The, uh, it's been around for a long time. The Logitech Z623 has been around for a few years. And the Logitech Z2300, they stopped selling about about five years ago, I think. The Edifier S730 is still for sale. You can still pick it up. And the Acoustic Authority, they stopped selling that years ago too, but I don't know when. Um, I think they all have two-year... All the Logitechs and the Edifier have a two-year warranty. Of course, the Alltech, I don't know about. The Acoustic Authority, I don't know about. And the Clips only has a one-year warranty, so that's kind of a minus for that. But, um, yeah, so overall, I think the best ones are actually the Clips and the two Logitechs. Uh, but if, you're, if you just want volume, if you want incredibly loud bass, of course, you got to go with the Edifier uh, because the amps in them, the amps in the range from about 20 watts from the Altec Lansing and the Acoustic Authority. The sub, the amp in the sub is about 20 watts for each of those. The Klipsch, it's hard to figure out because they say the Klipsch is 200 watts, but it's it's not. The Logitech, whereas the Logitech say they're 200 watts and they really are 200 watts RMS. So it's like 120 watts for this one, 130 for this one, 150 for this one. And these two are only about 20 watts each. So and the Klipsch is... It's about 80 watts, I think, for the Clips, probably for that little sub, so, little five and a half inch sub, so, uh, yeah, anyway, I really like all my subs, and I really like the sound and thump and boom they produce, but, uh, for some reason my neighbors don't seem to like it as much, but, anyway, there's my review, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll stick around and see some of my other videos. Thanks.